foreman's desk. Uh, no, no, Marty's not here. Oh, he's out in the plant somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, Clancy's here. Oh. Okay, I'll, I'll tell him. Yeah, okay. Clancy? Yeah? Been a breakdown over in screw machine. Some uh, feeder attachment you worked on. Want you over there right away. Oh, it never fails. I'm right in the middle of a job. What'd Marty say? He's out in the plant. Looks like it's up to you. Yeah. I guess I better go. Wish Marty was here, though. He's kind of funny about me leaving the job. Yeah, but on the other hand, you end up by going anyway, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Well, tell Marty where I am, will you? Yeah, okay. You seen Clancy? Yeah, they had a breakdown over in Screw Machine. You weren't here, so I told Clancy and he went over to help. Okay, Joe. But after this, I don't want anybody to walk out of this shop without first getting a work order from me. Sure, they had a problem over in Screw Machine, and now I've got one. That gear reducer from the annealing furnace, and they need it to start the second shift. If we don't get that second shift started, the plant will never get the Emerson order out on time. <laughs> Hi, Marty. You want to see me? Uh, Joe told you where I was, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. He told me where you were. How about that gear reducer? Finished? Are you serious? I gave you that job at 8 o'clock this morning. It ought to be finished by now. But, Marty, I just got back. Like I told Joe to tell you, I went over to help out with the breakdown. Okay, so you went over to help with the breakdown. But if you don't finish that gear reducer, we'll be holding up the second shift. What am I going to tell Mr. Andrews? Or maybe you'd like to make the explanation. I'm sorry, Marty. I wish I'd known. Why didn't you tell me what the rush was all about? Scheduling the work is my job, Clancy. Your job is to get the work done. And Clancy, under your old boss, it might have been okay for you to pull this kind of a stunt. But it's not okay here in my shop. So let's not let it happen again. All right. That's the way you want it. But look, Marty, I've been working around this machinery so long that whenever anything needs fixing, why, they call on me. You're kind of a handyman. Even the boss pulls me off the job once in a while. Me? I just try to keep everybody happy. Okay, but that's what I don't want. Your job is right here in this department, and that's where I want you to stay. All right. After this, I'll tell him a, I'll have to check with you first. Only, what if you're not around? Then it's my neck, not yours. I'll take the responsibility. Okay. Hello. Yeah, this is Clancy. Oh, hi, Daly. No, sir. I'm sorry, but the answer is absolutely no. Look, Daly, I'd like to help you, but I can't do it. I absolutely cannot leave this department without Marty's okay. Since yesterday, Marty really laid the law down, and that's that. You'll have to check with him. No, he's not here. He's out in the plant somewhere. But this is what happened last time, and I'm not sticking my neck out again. I'm sorry, Daly. I can't do it. Look, Clancy, I can't find this foreman of yours anywhere. And we need you, man. We're in a spot. Sorry, Daly. I cannot leave this department without Marty's okay. Look, pal. I've got the greatest respect in the world for rules and regulations. But this is an emergency. Our whole line's down. I got 30 people sitting around doing nothing. And you could fix it, Clancy. 
You did it once before. Yeah, you're putting me on the spot now. You can say that again. A.J. Andrews is breathing right down my neck. And if I have to go tell him that you wouldn't come and help us... Did Mr. Andrews tell you to come get me? No, he just said get the blankety-blank thing fixed. Come on, Classy, get your box. Let's go. Okay, but I'm going to be in trouble. Joe? You seen Clancy? He's over in assembly. Uh, they had a breakdown. Oh, so they had a breakdown, did they? Yeah, I, I guess it was pretty serious. A anyway, Daly came over and got him. I don't care who came and got him. This is my department. And what you guys do with your time is strictly my responsibility. Why can't I get you to go by the rules? Well, hey, don't get me mixed up in this thing. Assembly, please. This is it, Joe. This time I'm going to make sure. Hello, this is Marty. Is Clancy over there? Well, take a look around and see, will you? Never mind, he just walked in. Clancy? Yeah? Where you been? Over an assembly? They had a breakdown. Well, Clancy? Excuse the interruption. Congratulations. Daly tells me that Clancy fixed the power failure in assembly before we lost the whole afternoon. That breakdown could have cost us a lot more money than it did. Keep up the good work. Nice going, Clancy. Thank you, Mr. Andrews. Yes, Mr. Martin? What can I say?